Good morning team, happy Monday and welcome to day 68 of your home workout. So let's gather up all that awesome energy you had over the weekend. We've got fantastic lower body workout. So grab those two medium weights or objects and let's crush this lower body. So have an awesome week and an awesome Monday and enjoy the workout. Hi, I'm Coach Lydia. Welcome to another edition of Orange Theory at Home Goes Red. Today's focus is gonna be on your lower body. Having a strong lower body is very important in everyday health. We're gonna start off with your dynamic warm up. It's a six minute block. You're gonna have three exercises, two rounds. Coach David is gonna demonstrate our first exercise. It's a hip hinge, T-spine rotation. So as he's watching his hand go up in the air, reset, watches its hand go up in the air. Very good. Your second exercise is gonna be your five point squat. So you're gonna take it down, heavy on your heels, light on your toes, take it down, grab your toes, squat, take one arm at a time up in the air and stand. Your option with this one would be to reduce your range of motion. Your last exercise is going to be your alternating reverse lunge. Your option here would be to hold on to a chair or hold on to a countertop for balance. So remember, you have six minutes, two rounds, three exercises. Let's get to work.
time for block number one. It is all about elevating your heart rate and working on agility. So we're gonna work through two different exercises, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest for four rounds. As we get more familiar with these exercises we're gonna show you, try and increase that speed just a little bit. We're gonna start with our shuffle from side to side. So imagine you have a square drawn on the ground. We're gonna start on the outside of that square and then work through three steps. So you're tapping in the center, two steps, drawing that knee up and then shooting that body to the other side. Again, start slow and then as you get better, speed it up. Your second exercise is going to be a foot exchange. Start with one toe in, one toe out and switch those feet back and forth, staying up on those toes. Core stays nice and tight. Again, as we get better, you're gonna pick up that pace. You have four rounds of those two exercises. Let's get started. Okay, team, we're moving into block two. 
Eight total minutes of work focusing on lower body endurance. We're going to go four exercises, one minute on each for a total of two rounds. Coach Lydia is going to lay face up on the mat for a hip bridge, working on the glutes. So heels planted flat on the floor. She's going to focus on driving through the heels, squeezing glutes at the top, taking a brief pause, and then slowly lowering back down, working on that tempo. As an option, you can reduce that range of motion. Next exercise, we're going to go into a squat to a pulse. So Coach Lydia is going to go into that squat, pulsing at the bottom, and then back to the top to reset, really keeping that tension on the thighs. As an option, you can reduce that range of motion. Our third exercise today, we're going to be going into an iso squat with a lateral walk. So Coach Lydia is going to keep that low squat position, taking three steps to her right, three steps to her left. Most important thing here is you want to focus on keeping that space between the feet as you step laterally. And then our last exercise, you'll need a set of medium weights for a full thruster. Standing set position, chest up, shoulders back and down, weights at the shoulders. Coach Lee is going to sit back on the heels and explosively drive up, pressing those weights up into the air, inhaling down and exhaling as she presses to the top. As an option, you can reduce that range of motion. Let's get to work. <laughs>
Cause my mouth runs dry when you're with me And my tongue gets tied completely My words slip by, my mind's eye I confess I'm a mess when you walk by Everything shifts to the sideline And I see how you feel from the inside And you confide that you need me Just to get by I'm a mess when you walk by Everything shifts to the sideline And I see how you feel from the inside And you come find that you need me Just to get by Block number three, your third and final block in this workout. Are you ready to work on your heart's efficiency? Yes. That's exactly what we're going to do with this block with a little bit of interval training. We have four exercises we're going to work through. One minute to start for each one, you get a 30 second rest. Then we're going to decrease the amount of time you're working, 45 seconds each. We'll take another rest in that last round. You've got 30 seconds of work for each exercise. Our first one is going to be an alternating lateral lunge. So sit up nice or stand up nice and tall. Big step out to the side, sink into that heel, but keep that chest nice and proud. We're going back and forth from side to side. Your second exercise, you're gonna need a medium sized weight. We're gonna grab a jug of our iced tea here, get into that standing set position again, sink heavy in those heels, make sure we're smiling while we're working out through those exercises, holding that object right at your chest. Your third exercise, you're gonna need two of those objects. Good thing we have two jugs of iced tea. Working through that deadlift. Back to that same set position, really focus on keeping that core tight and your head stays in line with the rest of your body. So although we wanna see that smiling face, we're gonna keep those eyes down towards those toes as we work to hinge forward and stand back up. Your final exercise, you can set those objects to the side, grab something sturdy to hang on to for balance. We're gonna go into a calf raise, pausing at the top really squeezing through those calves and then lower back down again keeping that core nice and tight so using that lower body we're gonna work through these intervals raising that heart rate bringing it back down so it helps you with everyday activities like running or walking up those stairs let's get into our interval training
an amazing workout, David. How do you feel? How does your heart feel? I feel like that worked out. Very good. Well, right now we're gonna go into your flexibility block. The flexibility block is going to allow your heart rate to come down back after a tough workout like we just did. So your first exercise in this block is going to be a cobra. You're gonna go down on your knees, perfect. Bring your hands next to your chest, toes on the ground, lift your body up, keep your neck in neutral. You feel that stretch? It should feel really good right now. Your second exercise is gonna be your child's pose. So you're on your knees, hands forward, and just relax down back. Make sure those toes are on the floor and your feet are spread, perfect. Next one is gonna be your angled child's pose. So take both hands over to your right side and you're gonna feel the stretch down your obliques right there. Remember to breathe, smell the flowers, blow out the candles. Then we would go to the other side. The next one, you're gonna sit, let your legs go straight forward, feet together, point your toes towards your face and reach down. This is your seated toe reach. Your option would be to reduce your range of motion here. So your last exercise or stretch is your seated hurdler stretch. You're gonna bring your foot into your thigh, reach forward. Very nice. Now your option here would be to reduce your range of motion. We would do both sides. Now we can stretch at any time during the day. Flexibility is very good for you at all times. Let's have the best day ever. You guys did an amazing job.
just